A crucial day of testimony in the Mateen Cleves sex assault case as a pretrial hearing is now dragged on for weeks. Cleves accuser finally took the stand to tell the judge what she said happened that night. Let's bring in Rod Maloney live in Flint and Rod. Her remembering that night is a key issue here. Yeah, it is, uh, Kimberly. And here's the thing. The young woman, the alleged victim in this case, uh, went to the hotel willingly with Mateen Cleve. She says she didn't know that that's where they were going, but she went in the hotel room anyway. But there are things that she does not remember, and it openly admits there were a lot of things that happened that night she doesn't remember. But it's not so much that as it is what she said and perhaps did not say that this case could turn on. I had um, pushed him off of me and ran out of the room. And do you actually make it outside of the room? Yes. And when you're um, outside of the room, uh, <coughs> what was your intent for going outside of the room? To get away from that situation. And were you successful? No. We won't identify the alleged victim, a social worker and sex abuse counselor. She admitted to drinking throughout the day, claimed she reminded Cleves that she had a boyfriend and that he had a wife. They ended up on the bed and she testified Cleves touched her sexually. She said she ran out of the room a second time. Yet after Cleves pulled her back in, she doesn't remember what happened. When you were outside of the room, did you see any other human being? Yes, I saw a woman in the window of another room. Okay, and what if any action did you take in relationship to that woman? I mouthed, help me. She did, bringing the victim into a room and calling 911. But on cross-examination, the alleged victim made this important Ma admission. Ma'am, you never ever told the person that you know as a teen, no, did you? No, I correct. Just to reiterate, she admitted on the stand that she never told Mateen Cleves no. That's what the defense is going to be talking about going forward. Now, this has been a pitched battle between attorneys, defense and prosecution, every step of the way. And it continued that way throughout the afternoon, so much so that they just finished at about 4.30 inside the courtroom. They'll return to the courthouse again tomorrow to try and wrap things up. Reporting live in Flint, Rod Maloney, Local 4.